Carolyn Chine, and you're listening to Shoreline Radio. Keep it tuned right here. This is Carolyn Shine, and you're tuned into Shoreline Radio, the happiest, hippest, and hoppest radio station on the block. You're listening to the happening sounds of Shoreline Radio. Thanks for joining us today. I'm your host, Carolyn Shine. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Carolyn Shine, and you're listening to Shoreline Radio. Thanks for tuning in to Shoreline Radio today. I'm your host, Carolyn Shine. Don't touch that dial. Sunny days, starry nights, good music, and great company. This is Carolyn Shine, and you're listening to Shoreline Radio. Welcome back to Shoreline Radio, the only station on air that offers you everything that the other stations don't, and that's a lot. This is your host, Carolyn Shine. It's another beautiful day here at Shoreline Radio, your home for great music. I'm Carolyn Shine, and we're going to keep things moving here with another favorite. You're listening to Shoreline Radio with me, your host, Carolyn Shine. Words of wisdom for the day. Always think about what you're doing before you do it. And then once you're done, don't even worry about it. And don't get that backwards, all right? Here's another one just for you. We're back. I'm your host, Carolyn Shine. I just found out about the weirdest thing. Did you guys know that everybody has these things around our heads called auras? Apparently we walk around stuck inside these funny, glowing, invisible bubbles, and they turn different colors. Which is weird, I know, because they're invisible. I wonder if it's related to why some people need glasses. Well, we can think about that while we play another song. You're listening to Shoreline Radio. Hi again, everybody. I was just reading up on some science stuff, and I found out all about these special magical things called ions. And you know, if it comes from science and it has magical powers, then it's definitely got to be effective. They, like, clean your body's energy with static electricity or something. It's really fascinating how all this stuff works once you understand it. I mean, I assume so. I wonder if we evolved our blood specially to take advantage of this awesome new technology. Or maybe it's only a coincidence that it works, I don't know. But what I do know is, I'm definitely getting one of those ionizing leg bands. You'd have to be crazy not to take advantage of magic medicine science. I'm probably not supposed to give medical advice, but trust me, electricity works. At least that's what I think. Just be careful around dangerous levels of radiation, kids. I'm Carolyn Shine, and this is Shoreline Radio. Hello again there, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. I was just reading a brochure about reincarnation therapy and transpersonal psychiatry. To be perfectly honest with you, I used to think only a total idiot could believe that they used to be a frog or some random Mesopotamian. But when the well of souls runs dry, I guess the divine powers have to start recycling just like the rest of us. It just amazes me how far we've come as a species. We used to make up crazy stories about how we're reborn frogs, and then they discovered evolution, and we really did come from frogs. And now, finally, they're offering therapeutic psychiatry for the condition. I guess it's pretty normal for people's hop-around frog brains to start playing tricks on them. You can never be too careful. This is Shoreline Radio, and I'm your host, Carolyn Shine. You're listening to Shoreline Radio, and it's time for us to check in with our listeners. Here's a nice message we just received from Vance. Love your show, Carolyn. Great music, great conversation, nothing like the other stations. They're always trying to talk to me in secret code language. Oh my god! That's exactly what I was thinking. I was afraid it was just me, but Vance just said it so much more clearly than I ever could. There's got to be subliminal messages everywhere, and not just on the radio. The newspaper, online, even your alphabet soup is trying to convince you of something. But when those naughty voices get too loud, you've just got to close your eyes and pretend not to listen. This is Carolyn Shine. 
We're back. It's me, Carolyn Shine, and we're about to check in with our listeners. Here's another message just came in from Eleanor Wicks. Thank goodness for your radio station. It's like the only station on air where you're challenging the binary distinction between good and evil. Ugh, oh, Eleanor, don't get me started on binary. It's just so confusing. Why can't they count good and evil in base 10 like everybody else? Did you know that the number 100 in binary really just means four? For heaven's sake, people! How are we going to keep track of good and evil if a hundred is the same as four? I'm with Eleanor. It's no wonder everybody is so confused. Binary indeed. You're listening to Shoreline Radio. Did you guys know there's different types of vegans? There's junk food vegans who eat like guacamole and chips and popcorn and soy mochachocas. And then there's whole food vegans who won't even peel stuff most of the time. What do they do with the knuckle part of a celery stalk? Swallow it with a glass of water? Oh well, at least they don't need to worry about eating a whole chicken. I don't even know if that's possible. This is Carolyn Shine, and you're listening to Shoreline Radio. Hi everybody, this is Carolyn Shine. You might have noticed that my voice sounds a little different today. Well, that's because I'm wearing a new necklace. Not an ordinary necklace. This one is filled with the power of hematite. I picked it up from the store yesterday, and as soon as I tried it on, I could feel its warmth flowing through me. It's like real magic. Nothing like mood rings and charm bracelets. That's kid stuff. This hematite is the real thing. It looks like polished metal, but it's actually a crystal like quartz and geodes. It makes me wonder if there's any other crystals out there with mystical properties. But enough about that for now. It's time to get back to the music. You're listening to Shoreline Radio. <laughs> 